This place is weird. And it also has some sort of bizarre basement. Today we're going apartment hunting. Will any of these be winners? Hopefully not. $39.95 a month. Is that standing water in the tub? Oh man. I don't think I wanna stay here that long. But once this gets cleaned up, it might be interesting. This thing has a massive basement. And look at this, it's like an entire second apartment down here. Pretty big looking walk-in closet. In its current state, no one's gonna rent it, but there's so much potential. You could make something like this your bedroom and maybe even like a little home office. I'm guessing this door leads into the building's basement. Boy, this is actually really clean. Laundry machine doesn't look like it's plugged in. Oh no, this looks like carpet, hmm. I am not rolling around up there, but it's big. Once this gets cleaned up, I can see a mattress up here for sure, probably some extra storage. You could make it like a sleep loft. To be honest with you, I've seen worse fridges, I've seen worse stoves, and this whole sink deal here, this doesn't actually look that terrible. What horrors await us down here? Oh no, okay, yeah, that's getting fixed. But these shelves are kind of cool. We do have like an extra row of cabinets, and I feel like for a smaller-ish apartment, this is semi-workable. This probably had pots and pans in it. And the living room space is 10 by 10. We've got big windows in here. These are facing the street. That's probably why these are frosted over and there's some shades. You could probably get like a table or a couch in this area. Entertainment center in that corner. Now, if you don't use the loft for storage, um, you've got the basement. And we've also got this coat closet right here. This is actually pretty good. Another sign that this has a lot of hidden benefits that somebody will experience. There's also this strange light. My guess is this was put in by whoever was living here. But the bathroom right here, man, this is gonna need some help for sure. Tile's kind of weird. We got some holes in the wall. But look, there is a fancy toilet seat which might have a bidet. If you're lucky, that might stay. The bathroom sink's actually pretty good, and like, look at this cabinet. It actually looks decent. There's also a medicine cabinet. I'm not gonna open it. The electricity's off, but this is 2,800. It's a basic one bedroom, but it's sunny and it's big by today's standards. And the layout's great. We got a coat closet. Behind it, there's a little set of hooks and a beautiful gas meter. Don't puncture that. The kitchen living room area, 13 feet by 11 feet. The view's incredibly sunny, but it's not really great. I mean, we're really just looking out at other stuff, but we're on the fifth floor. We've got a massive heater, TV there, table underneath, then get a couch against the wall. It's it's got like this L-shaped layout because that's the door and that's the bathroom. A little odd, but it's workable. Look, it's a, it's a sticker. There's a sticker on this metal cabinet to fancy schmancy it up. Let me know in the comments if it's working. I think it looks brand new. Look at that, a paper towel holder. And there's even a sink sprayer. We are getting spoiled today. 
six inches of counter space, but you could always put a rolling counter right there and maybe a microwave on top of the fridge. What species of bug is this? Is that called a silverfish? It's not a cockroach. And even though you might not love bugs, I live in a luxury apartment and my apartment had ants, which was disgusting. The bedroom here, 12 by 10, so pretty good. Natural light, definitely the strong suit of this apartment. There's a closet, kind of crooked, but there's a shelf and an overhead. And you can have a queen bed as long as it's over here. And we're looking out at the neighbor's roof deck. Hopefully they don't throw too many parties. What a weird bathroom. It's like good and bad at the exact same time. There's a small window, a big window. Both of these are like frosted. And it's not that small of a bathroom, it's just a weird shape. Weird valves, strange plumbing. I guess it's easy to access if you clog it. Bizarre heat pipe. Oh, that's warm. Water pressure's okay. We got ourselves a medicine cabinet. You know, it's really old, but it's also really clean. This tub thing, though, this is so awkward. Just look at how that door opens and it hits it. Oh, is this your place? This is my place. I like your tree. This whole place is 4450? This whole place is Dude, that's insane. This is a real law duplex. This courtyard is awesome. There's like a lot of fans and stuff out here that kind of make some noise, but other than that, it's quiet. And since these are the most expensive apartments in the building, everybody else that has a courtyard seems to be taking care of theirs. There's like plants, there's tables. Hopefully your neighbors are cool. If they are, you might really enjoy being out here. It looks like we've also got water access for your plants. And since that's our door, maybe you could like build yourself a little fence and kind of privatize this. But I think it looks pretty good with like this open feel. Plus it keeps everybody accountable for not living like animals. I think the sole purpose of this little causeway is so that you can access the AC without falling 20 feet into a hole. Have you seen anything else designed like this? Never in my life. Not the kind of feature you see every day. There's a handrail. You can also look out these windows here and see the backyard. And you'd also have to come over here to access these shades, which probably means whatever position these are in, they're gonna stay like that. And the weirdest thing is that this main level, this isn't accessible from the inside of the building. You'd think there would be a door over here, but the only thing we got is the entrance to the outside. This main room is 16 feet by 16 and a half feet. And there's a bunch of little rooms and closets under the loft. This is for a bed? It's actually for storage, but you can treat it as a bedroom. Oh man, the ceiling here's a little low and then there's like, like a beam. You are gonna have to really watch your head. You got an outlet, a light. There's like a loft thing up here. Yeah, I think storage is probably your option, but you could put a mattress. And then look at this. You really got a cool view of the rest of the living space down there. You can see like your couch and all your TVs and whatnot. And look at this. You're right above the kitchen. Moment of truth. Oven clears. But how about the dishwasher? I can't it even get better back clear. Oh! Yeah. What did I tell you? Dude, that's like millimeters away. Look at that. How about the fridge's door? Uh, oh, uh. Yeah, it clears enough. All right, technically, it's enough for you to reach in here and get snacks. Absolutely. This bizarre thing, some sort of light. Will this electrocute me? I hope not. No. How's our water pressure? Pretty good. Sink sprayer. All this stuff, it might not be fancy, but it's nice. Nice enough. Look at that. We got a fifth burner. I thought that was a Brooklyn thing. I know, no, that's a Manhattan thing. I like the uh, 80s glazed over glass on the shower door. That's nice. The rest of this bathroom's pretty good and we're getting a new toilet seat. Is that right? That's right. And if you don't get it, guess what? Charles is what? I'm gonna get you. How many real estate agents do you know that would make that kind of guarantee? Not too many. Oh, dude, that's a huge closet, man. Look at that, nice Absolutely. closet space. That's the entry, so this is gonna be the first room you see. Let me show you guys my new place. I just rented this new apartment from Charles Monroe. He said it was the best place. Come on in, there's, there's room, come on in. We're gonna have Thanksgiving dinner in here. <laughs> All right, 
All right, there's really not any room in here. I don't know what you're gonna put in here. Maybe just like luggage or something. That's more like it. Look at all that closet space. Are these from the container store? They look like it. Comes with the apartment. Dude, look at all these shelves, man. This is fantastic. This might be the most storage in any apartment. For this price, in the East Village. We got more shelves over here. Now I would want to have a bed down here, but not everybody wants to sleep next to their door. And I think for that reason, some people are gonna be sleeping upstairs. And this might be set up as a den, but the kitchen's not down here. Which, even though it's really nice, makes this a big, confusing place. Second bathroom. Ooh, look at that. Into my bathroom. Oh, dude, it's nice. It it's, it's just as nice as the one upstairs. New toilet seat down here too, huh? I like how the glass here is not frosted. You can see that there's no one waiting for you in the tub. Little a linen closet here in the bathroom built in closet for days yo this is a studio or a one bedroom this is a one bedroom it's huge how much this is 5250 Where's the breakers? So far the most expensive apartment also doesn't have any electricity. But that's okay, look at all this light that we got here. Because these windows are angular, look at that. We're seeing all the way south, right down 4th Avenue. Check that out. And this living room is huge, 23 feet by 12 feet. Now my guess is this hallway, you're not gonna be able to put anything, but you could get a table, entertainment center, couch. Storage here is also incredible. Look at this, we got another coat closet right here. This is kinda like between the two rooms. No power, cooking in the dark, look at this. Dishwasher lines up. The fridge has double doors, so no issues with this. Look inside, that's pretty nice actually. And guess what? It clears. Yeah, look at that. Dude, this is the best kitchen. Decent pressure, fancy sink attachment. Stove is big. We got ourselves a microwave up in here. This is the bedroom. It looks like the living room. It has the same window as the living room. Same free AC as well with a nice little black remote. View here is actually better because of the shape of the building. But look at this weird shape. Where do you put the bed? I'm gonna put it right here. Right here? Oh, right here. Then the rest of this could be like dressers. You could probably set up a home office. And look at this over by the entryway. We got ourselves a linen closet. No light in the bathroom either, huh? Yeah, but I got you covered. You man. got me. I oh, got dude, it's, it's nice. It's beautiful. It's pretty good. Yeah, decent storage, nice and clean under there. Clean, spotless, no How's it tough? Shower head kind of sucks, but yeah, you can replace that. Is this a medicine cabinet or is it a mirror? I don't know, let's do it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. That could have been a really bad decision. You can make it, you can make it, you can make it. Amazing. Yeah, it's like a little house. How much is this? This is $8,900. Three bed, three bath. $8,900 divided by three people. You know what's crazy? $2,900 to get your own bedroom, your own bathroom in a full luxury building with a doorman. Oh, I found something wrong with it. Lunatics must have been living here before. But you can tell this place has the nicest renovation so far. And it's big. Sub-Zero fridge. Best Mortal Kombat character ever. Big microwave. Four burners on the oven. Which opens. How's the pressure? Acceptable. This closet by the door is so big it holds a dumpster. I'm guessing this is in here from the people that renovated. Living room, 23 feet by 11 feet. Because that's where the kitchen is, you're probably gonna want your table here and then your den area over there. Seven feet, nine inches by 10 feet, three inches. But look, you got a cool view of these window cleaners over here at this other big Fifth Avenue building and the traffic. And check this out, we got really good closet space in here. A small bedroom is one thing, but a small room without any closets, that's an entirely different story. Plus, this is a three bed, three bath, and this looks like our first bathroom. Definitely the nicest bathroom we've seen so far with a funny looking shower. That's weird, but you know what? You're gonna get that water on top of your head. Oh yeah, you just stand right here. It's like being in the rain. The rest of this looks nice though. Oh, I didn't even see that feature. Pocket door, close yourself in there. That way your mom doesn't see what you're doing when she comes to visit. These other rooms are much, much bigger. Look at this guy. Love the nice big windows. View here is absolutely identical. Nothing wrong with that. Man, look at the wall. Maybe there was like a leak or something in here. Either way, this is 12 by 14.
closet to pass through with its own light, but this guy doesn't have its own bath. The bathroom that it has is right here. And look, we have the same interesting overhead shower design. You know whoever put these in was trying to change the world? I don't know if they succeeded. The master is like having your own studio. It's not that big, but it's good enough, I think. I think so. I think so. You got that one window, we've seen this view already. The length is 14 feet, but the width on this is like eight and a half. Closet's definitely legit. But look at that, you can hang out with all your friends in here if you're, right. if you're me and you only have one friend. Oh, look at that. Look at that, you don't even hear it. You don't even hear it. That means you could take a shower at night without waking up anybody. If you want to live here, Mr. Charles Monroe, I'll have his info below. Subscribe if you had fun. I'll see you in the next video.